Hello friends, how are you? In our last class, we discussed about the Operine's theory of origin of universe, in which we discussed that how the life was, sorry, origin of life, in which we discussed about that how the life was originated on earth, according to which the initial atmosphere contain different kind of elements these elements combine and make different kind of simple molecules and then the combination of the different simple molecules give rise some complex molecules and finally these complex molecule mix with the water and create primordial soup where the life was originated okay that was the held in operand concept of creation of life that concept that's okay but there was some missing which was experimental evidence and this experimental evidence supporting to the held in and operand concept was given by miller was given by miller sometime it is also called miller urey experiment so either miller experiments or that is miller urey experiment what it in 1953 it was given in 1953 this experiment was given by 1953 stanley miller that is stanley miller performed an experiment and the name of the experiment is possible production of amino acids 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 in the early stages in the early stages of earth in the early stages of earth got it of earth or we can say that of the earth that is the name of experiment this is the name of miller's experiment that is possible production of amino acids in the early stages of the earth okay in this experiment he created the primitive condition he created the primitive condition there is a gas chamber or we can say that is reaction chamber in this reaction chamber he created the primitive conditions of earth of the earth in a electric discharge tube in a electric discharge tube or electric discharge device this device consists a round bottom flask that is a round bottom flask and then electric emulsion bulb and a condenser cooling that is a condenser condenser means which condenses the gases into liquid condense gases into liquid okay in this experiment after filling the water in round bottom flask round bottom flask methane ammonia and hydrogen gases after the filling this and then remove the air by using this he remove sorry by using that that is a vacuum pump by removing the gases uh, by removing the gases present in this chamber he added methane ammonia and hydrogen gas methane ammonia and hydrogen gas in the ratio of 2 ratio 1 ratio 2 in the ratio of 2 ratio 1 ratio 2 got it so that is the setup of this experiment it was the setup of this experiment i am again repeating it is a electric discharge device which consists a round bottom flask that is a round bottom flask that is we can say that electric immersion bulb because here the electric spark created so that is electric immersion bulb bulb and that is a condenser 
so these are the main and remaining are the pipe assemblies here after after adding the water he removed the air present in this setup and add methane ammonia and hydrogen gas in the ratio of 2 ratio 1 ratio 2 got it now by using the electric discharge water was boiled in the starting the water was boiled these and produce steam these steam cause continuous rotation this steam cause continuous rotation of gases in the total assembly here the produced steam create total rotation that means heating cooling heating cooling this process lightning uh, passing through the lightning sparking it may that means the steam make continuous rotation of different kind of gases okay here in the reaction chamber the electric discharge tube a electric air these rods create a spark because at the primitive stage of the development of life you know that continuously thousands here there was rainfall and thundering so that is creating that environment and you know that in the primitive environment before the creation of the life the gases like the methane ammonia water vapor and hydrogen are present so that is the reaction chamber where that condition is created after rotate after running this device seven days continuously after running this device seven days continuously when miller analyzed the sample that is a sampling unit from here we can collect the sample and easily analyze what chemicals are present here so after the seven days when miller analyzed the condensed liquid condensed liquid he found the presence of the various organic compounds he found the presence of various organic compounds in the sample like that amino acids the first presence he obtained that is amino acids acetic acids etc and you know that amino acids acetic acids these are organic substance organic substances which are present in living organism and very very essential and these are very very essential chemicals and these are very very essential chemicals for any living organism what it so the formation of these the formation of these organic chemicals which are used which are present in living organisms give the support give the support of operines concept give the support of to the operines concept according to which the inorganic the organic substances the organic substances was created from inorganic substance or non-living things or we can say that innate matter got it is experiment ne ye pura prove kar diya tha ki jo operine concept mein kaha jata hai ki living jo material hai living things ke jo required materials hai ya jo living organisms hai kyunki materials honge to definitely organism banega तो वो जो ऑर्गेन मटेरियल्स जो हैं वो इनऑर्गेनिक सब्सटेंसेस से क्रिएट हो सकते हैं या होते हैं व्हाट इट सो बाय दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट मिलर प्रूव्स द ऑपेराइंस कांसेप्ट ऑफ ओरिजिन ऑफ लाइफ व्हाट इट नाउ इफ यू वांट टू टेक ए स्क्रीनशॉट देन यू कैन टेक इट Okay, now let me move to the next topic that is spiritual theories. Spiritual theories of origin of life. Here the name is spiritual, that means not the God or something like that. Spiritual theory is particularly related with the cosmozoic theory. Here mainly we discuss about the cosmozoic theory. Okay, so the next topic is spiritual. theories 
of origin of life on earth origin of life on earth what it one thing let me clear you life is not just a group of molecules life is not just a group of molecules it is more than it it is more than it or we can say that it is more difficult it is more difficult than general principles of chemistry and physics life jo hai wo kewal molecules ka ek group nahi hai it is more difficult bahut zyada difficult concepts hain जो जनरल केमिस्ट्री के या जो जनरल फिजिक्स के जो लॉज हैं उनसे बहुत ज्यादा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड प्रोसेस यहां पर होती है द ओपर थ्योरी विच इज गिवन विच विच वॉज द फर्स्ट मोस्ट एक्सेप्टेबल थ्योरी विच वॉज द मोस्ट एक्सेप्टेबल थ्योरी ऑफ द पास्ट टाइम नाउ देर आर सम ऑब्जेक्शन ऑन दैट नाउ there are some objections on the operands concept of development of life young scientists refuse the operands theory aaj ke time ke jo scientists hain unhone operand theory ko refuse kar diya wo usko nakarte hain because according to them the development of first cell ya first living organism from the primordial soup required energy according to the young scientist from the primordial soup the development of first cell <coughs> sorry first cell required lots of energy it required lots of energy and this energy as per the operand model as per the operand model it was given by this energy of the creation of the life was given by an aerobic respiration according to operand concept that was given by an aerobic respiration but according to the modern scientist this energy by the anaerobic respiration is not possible it is not possible the energy of the creation of the life from the primordial soup cannot be obtained according to operand model that was obtained by anaerobic respiration but modern science it is refusing it they are saying that at that time the anaerobic respiration in the primordial soup cannot produce such kind of energy which combine the different complex substances and create the first cell got it they said that operand and hayden theory operand and hayden's theory do not follow do not follow the laws of bioenergetics bioenergetics or we can say that bio physics and thermodynamics according to them the operand model do not following that for your kind information these are the in the higher class you will study that thermodynamics and energetics these are the basic fundamental concepts of physics and if it is not following by the operand theory then surely there will be lots of objections there will be lots of objections because as you know that without energy nothing can possible in environment bagair energy ke environment ke andar kuch bhi possible nahi hai ya jo working hai wo possible nahi hai got it the second objection 
of the operand concept was about the oxygen according to operand model the oxygen totally consumed oxygen was totally consumed and reductive environment or reductive atmosphere reducing atmosphere was formed and in the reducing atmosphere these complex molecules of the primordial soup combined and make first cell but the modern research the modern research showing that oxygen rich oxygen rich compounds like carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide water etc was abandoned in primitive atmosphere was abandoned bahut ayat mein present thi present thi so the theory of reducing nature the theory of reducing nature of primitive atmosphere primitive atmosphere cannot be accepted because from the for the reducing nature there should be no oxygen present in the atmosphere but here lots of the oxygen rich compounds are found so the concept of the reducing nature of the atmosphere we have to left we have to left because there are lots of oxygen rich compounds so if that problems if these are the objections are here then how can we believe that by the oper according to the operand concept the reduced in nature and the molecules combined and make life is possible but it the third objection on the operand's concept is about the time of development of life operand concept according to operand concept life is created 58 million years ago life that means first living organism is formed 58 million years ago but at the study at the present time the study of the micro fossils study of micro fossils of hadean era hadean era showing that photosynthetic organisms ya photosynthetic life was present the photosynthetic life the photosynthetic life was present on the earth 4 billion years ago the modern science studies jo hai micro fossils ki wo ye show karti hai ki jo hadean era hadean era mein jo photosynthetic life hai wo present thi 4 billion years ago this study at this new research do not match with operan theory because according to operan theory that is only 58 million years ago the creation of the life but here the sign of the life was present more than 4 billion years ago what okay? it so these are the objections these are the main three objections on the operan's concept first was the first objection of was that about the energy that how the energy of living or how the energy of the creation of life supplied by the anaerobic respiration because it is not possible at present time various various uh, micro living organisms which do anaerobic respiration do not produce that kind of energy which uh, by which a living organisms can create so first that is related about the energy second in the operand concept it is said that there there uh, it is said that there was reducing 
nature yeah there was reducing environment nature of the atmosphere but the modern concept the modern research shows that at that time oxygen rich compounds was present so the reducing nature concept it is not acceptable the third which is related about the development uh, timing of the development of life according to the operan concept the life was created at 58 life was created 58 million years ago but the studies modern study shows that photosynthetic life that means living organisms are present more than 4 billion years ago so that are the three main objections of operan's concept which are creating a question mark which are creating a question mark on operan's concept of development of life got it to remove these objections the various new concepts which are cosmozoic concept actually the cosmozoic concept was given before the operan's concept but uh, at that time there was lots of objections on that but when there was also objection on the operan's concept then the main uh, then the concept of cosmozoic development cosmozoic life that because life comes outside from the again rebound or we can say that right, again reestablished okay about that we will discuss in next class hope you like it thank you